Okay, so I think today we gotta be uh, my favorite Mario character. Oh, yeah. Wow, Luigi. <laughs> we need to be another heavy guy. And you know what? We'll break out the carts again. Let's try the Flame Flyer. Yeah, we are. I do love the Flame Flyer, and Waluigi's Flame Flyer does look particularly awesome. Let's try manual again. Why not? Why not? All right. Oh, it's so appropriate that we're the Flame Flyer because we're now in the Fireball Cup. We've got Waluigi's Motocross. Not Motocross, Motocross. Because it's from the hood. We also got SNES Bowser Castle 2. GCN Bowser Castle. Yes, the best one. And Incendia Castle. Okay. One of these courses is not like the other. We got free fiery castles and then Waluigi's Moto Cross. <laughs> Moto Cross. It, it's not motor. Moto. <laughs> Moto Cross. That's right. I think I think I played this one maybe. I played a level that was like Waluigi Stadium, but like there was a little lava, and it seems like it's this one. So I'm excited. This one's a. If this is what I think it is, it's a great course. Yep, yep, it's this one. This one's actually really great. It's really fantastic. And we're Waluigi, it's so fitting. I did not know that this was what was coming. Okay. Yikes. Who's just letting the chain chomps go around? Seems like a safety violation. Man. Oh no. You bought Yoshi. I will kill you for that. Waluigi does not appreciate you running over me on my own motocross way. Okay. Well, I feel like this almost has better drifting than the Super Blooper. Which I know that can't be right. Super Blooper is like a lightweight medium vehicle, and this is a pretty heavy, heavy guy vehicle. Man, we are not making any progress towards first, though. Goodness me, what the heck? She's Louise, and they took all the power-ups. Okay. We're not doing a trick at the end of that one. Oh, excuse me. I want to be in first. Move it, Mario. This is not Mario Circuit 18. Oh, come on. Wow, that Pokey moved way faster going to the right than he did going to the left. I see how it is. Thankfully, the CPUs do not know how to bypass power blocks. Which is amusing to me. Oh no. What? And there my car just decided, no, I'm not gonna drift the way you said. I want to get hit by that fake power up. Come off it. Wow, Mario! Or Diddy Kong. You are so going down. Also, Diddy Kong got his red shell faster than a human can. Oh shoot, should not have tricked there, should not have tricked there. Oh, never mind, I guess it worked out. Because the chain chop was waiting for people who didn't trick. Oh yeah! <laughs> this course actually does seem pretty balanced for carts, I like it. And again, it's kind of like Waluigi Stadium, but like a little crazier. Also, apparently there was a Mario Odyssey moon on this course. I don't think this is related to anything related to Mario Odyssey, so... Maybe they just put it there for uh, decoration? I like the hopping fireballs, though. All right. Dang, Bowser just weaved around those. I love how we get the close-up of the front of Waluigi's car, but not Waluigi himself. It looks like Rob is driving this car. Body Maguire, Waluigi, we're 15 points. Nice. Alright, so next up it's SNES Bowser Castle 2. I don't remember this one. Oh, hey! That is the Mecha Bowser from GCN Bowser Castle. Okay, this course looks pretty boss. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. Dane, that is an awesome sky. It was a dark and stormy night. The night that Waluigi beat everybody in Mario Kart. Oh wow. New power-up designs too. <laughs> they look they have got skulls inside them. That's great. 
Was that Donkey Kong or B I thought that was it looked like Bowser, but it sounded like Donkey Kong. Okay. I see that air. Wait, what? So apparently you do not take that way unless you have a mushroom. Alright, alright. I know that now. Take that diddy. Okay. All of the 90 degree turns on this level are not ideal for the flame flyer. But we can manage. I am somewhat afraid of tricking through these while invincible. Ouch! Take that toad. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh! If that was Mario Kart 8, it absolutely would have hit me. But thankfully, the green shells actually have realistic ricochet physics in this game. Again, I love Mario Kart 8. Love it. It's the best Mario Kart game. But the green shells and the coins drive me crazy. Alright, this this seems like... I love the visuals on this course, for sure. Really, really cool, and they definitely updated the visuals for uh, Mario Kart Wii. Because there ain't no way the SNES has graphics that look like this. I don't... I think the SNES version, like, doesn't even take place in, like, a dark and stormy night castle like this. I'm pretty sure it looks just like all the other flat GBA SNES Bowser castles. What the heck?! That Mecha Bowser has it in for me. He's sending all of his fireballs over this way. Oh, Blue Shell hit the other guy, though. Alright, we're gonna keep an eye out behind us. In case somebody's trying to hit us. Oh, look at that. Shame that I didn't get to ch take the uh, shortcut. What? But I, but I was pushing the trick button. That's a pretty good shortcut too. Wow, that actually cuts a lot out. Hey, that Mecha Bowser at the end is terrifying. That's definitely not the normal double dash. Oh my god! I actually made it through that with a cart. I can't believe it. I'm actually thoroughly enjoying being in the Flame Flyer. I really like this cart. Really fun. Saw so God! So <laughs> Got some presents for you, Bowser. Nope, I hit Bowser Jr. again. Ah, yeah. That was a fun one. I I really like that course. That's a really good adaptation of the, uh, the portable Bowser Castles. The SNES and GBA ones. Very good. But I'm really looking forward to this one. GameCube Bowser's Castle. This is the best Bowser's Castle. Like, period. No other Bowser Castle even comes close. It just, it perfectly emphasizes everything a Bowser Castle should be. It also has the best music, but unfortunately we're not going to get that music here. Unless they added in something special. Okay, we get the Wii Bowser Castle music. This is still a pretty good Bowser Castle song. And this is the one that we got on the last course as well. Is that a bullet bill? Oh, he was Danky Kane. How dare he. Thus far, it's a, definitely a faithful adaption. They definitely made the track a little bigger. Like, the track is a lot smaller in Double Dash. But I guess that makes sense, because Double Dash is an 8-player race. This is a 12-player race. See, that's what you should do. If you're increasing the number of racers on a track, make the track a little bit bigger. 
Or you could make it smaller, like what they did with Baby Park in Mario Party. They literally made the track smaller and put more people on it. And that's how it went from being like the best track in Double Dash to like one of the worst tracks. That's what you do. All right, Bowser Junior. Oh my gosh, those fireballs are going really far. Oh, Bowser. Oh really? Another another fake power up. Did he? Oh you butt! I do love being heavy and being able to knock people around, which you really can't do when you're in a bike. I would really like to save the gold mushroom and try to take the shortcut. Oh, no. oh. My car almost did the same thing it did on the Waluigi Moto Cross. No! Put that there! Okay. Made me go up a few places, but still not in first, because, man, that turn is hard to make. Oh, really? Darn it! Move the Bowser. I'm winning this race. Of course, fake power up. Definitely still enjoyed uh, GCM Bowser Castle. Super fun. Super fun. It's it's so well themed, but it's not overwhelmingly difficult. And they don't put a giant lake in Bowser's Castle for no reason, like in the 3DS one. Seriously, why are you putting a lake in Bowser's Castle when there's like lava erupting around? It, again, the newer Mario Kart games, I swear they're like, we have a quota we need to meet for the amount of underwater stuff that there is. Even if it doesn't make sense. Oh, I know. We'll put it in dry, dry desert. Yes, this makes sense. No, it does. Oh, no. Duck on it. If this cart touches the wall, it stops. Jeez. The Mecha Bowser statues in this are crazy. Oh, no. You That was a terrible finish. I guess it's fitting that Bowser won on Bowser's Castle, but fourth is not good. I don't care what the what the victory music says. All right, the next course is a new one that I've never seen. Incendia Castle. Okay, it looks like a custom track. It's like one texture, pretty much. A lot of just open lava. Pretty flat, all right. Maybe appearances can be deceiving. Let's see what the actual track is. Looks huge. Oh my gosh, this is an enormous course. Three different ways to go? Well, everyone's going this way, so... Okay, it, everything just looks kind of one color. Which, I, I don't like that. Like donkey Kong. Like, it's hard to tell the floor from the ceiling and the walls. Everything just looks monochromatic. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna dock points for that. And likewise, this is just kind of a large, flat, sandy area. Not much to it. Um, what? Okay, why does, why does none of that appear on the mini-map? I'm definitely docking points for that. 
there's literally no way you would not fall unless you just knew in advance that that's what was going to happen. Alright, docking points for that one. Okay, maybe the course isn't as big as I thought. Just the minimap made it look huge. Oh, wait, what? The castle is changing, so every lap it's different. How do you do that? How do you even do that? Okay, again, the visuals on this course, not great. The concept is really cool, though. Oh my gosh, but I'm... Okay, I'm docking points for that as well. You just throw us out into a wall. That's not okay. It definitely seems like a lot of some of these turns, it's like, well, you have to just know that that turn is coming if you want to be able to go around it. And I, I don't like that. Now let's see you, Bowser. What the heck? Whoa! Um, okay. And now we immediately have to do a sharp right turn. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh boy, a blooper. The best power up. Watch out for the meteors. Okay, the idea that, like, okay, so on the third lap, are we gonna go on the far right direction? Yeah, so this part just gradually sinks. That's really cool. Like, that gimmick is really, really cool. And the idea of, like, a lava-themed fortress is amazing. I know it's very similar to the Bowser Castles, but that's fine. I think this course could be great. It just needs to, you need to touch up a couple things. Shells being useful as always. Like, right there. Right, like, come on. Even an inside drift bike ain't gonna make that. Only CPUs with their magic super series are gonna be able to get around that. So another jump here. No, no. And we have to make the sharp 90 degree turn again. I literally, I had to let go of the accelerator for that. Not a fan of that. Yeah. So that part of the level we drew, drove on on the first lap also sunk into the lava. I know how you can do some things that change from lap to lap, like Grumble Volcano stuff crumbles from one lap to another. Is that what they did here as well? Like, the, the opening here just gradually crumbles down? How would that work if one person stayed at the start and the next person went to the next lap? How would that work? Is it on a timer, or does it wait for one person to get, like, a lap count or something? These are the questions I gotta know. Because that could definitely mess things up. So again, I, I will say that that course, good in theory, needs some work. But on the whole, I did enjoy the level. There are just some things that need to change. Yeah, C rank. Yeah, that's fair. Kind of. I think at this point we're going to be... We'll be Bowser Jr. Why not? Because I want to try out a bike that doesn't have necessarily have inside drift. Sne the Sneakster. And hey, Bowser Jr. himself is a Sneakster, you gotta admit. Alright, so that was the Fireball Cup. We're now going on to the Red Shell Cup. We've got Melting Magma Melee. Final Grounds, Pipe Underworld, and Canyon Run. Four original courses. I love it. I love it. Can't wait to see what these what we have in store here. Original courses are definitely more fun to explore, but they tend to be not as good well designed. Melting Magma Melee. What the heck? I don't like this already. Are we driving through a tube of lava? Enter the horror? Why do I get the feeling this is going to be one of those stupidly difficult tracks? As the first track in a circuit? Maybe I should have picked the mock bike. 
It's a two-lap track, and look at how crazy it is. Just from the mini-map alone. I mean, the atmosphere is definitely there. Oh my gosh, that's bad design. That is very, very, very bad design. Wow, on more unreasonable turns. Why am I not surprised? Um, so that's a shortcut, I guess? Yeah, I gotta say this course is not making a very strong impression on me at the beginning here. I mean, the visuals are kind of cool, but it's very clearly a course where you just, you need to know exactly where to go before it arrives, and I don't like that. I like a course to be able to, like, if you've never played it, but what the heck? Oh my gosh, I hate this course now. Do I have to I almost took a sick shortcut. So for those of you who don't know, this is ice that I'm driving on with ice physics, and it's awful. It makes it nearly impossible to avoid all the lava. Okay, this course is terrible. I don't like it. <laughs> well, we'll give it a chance. Oh boy, Bouncy Mushrooms, my favorite gimmick. We are, we are, um, what? I'm sorry, how is this in any way, shape, or form fair? How do I'm very surprised the CPU they're able to drive on this and aren't just falling off every two seconds. Wow, this is a long course. Okay, loop to loop, that's pretty cool. I gotta give it to you there. Ice physics, not cool. For one, it don't make sense. We are in a volcano. There can't be ice that exists here, but apparently there is. Oh look! Geysers that appeared with no way to know that they were going to appear until they already did, and it was too late to change. Oh look, you have to boost through a curtain that you can't see the other side and then immediately know exactly which direction to turn. Yay! Shoot, I could have taken a shortcut there. I don't know how I'm in first. I've been driving terribly. But I guess the CPUs are driving terribly as well. Oh no. Well, that could have been worse. I am very glad for wonky hitboxes, but wow, I'll, I don't like this part. Those fire bars have way bigger hitboxes than they should. And so unless you are, like, perfectly lined up, you are going to get hit. Oh my gosh! Why? I see what you were trying to do here, but- No! What the heck?! You- Yeah, this is- this is a very poorly designed course. Stuff just hits you, and there's nothing you can do about it if you don't just know exactly where they're going. I was literally turning as hard as I could, and it didn't even come close to uh, getting around. Wow. Oh, thank goodness I have Blooper. Actually, Blooper would be a pretty effective power up on this course against human players who don't know it very well. Oh, come on! I grabbed it! Um, okay. Yep, that's that's about as poorly designed as Wii Rainbow Road. And that is a big insult. Yeah, I'm giving that, of course, a big two thumbs down. The atmosphere was cool, but um, racing on that was not a fun experience. Okay, that's going on the list of not do not play again. I hope we don't get many courses like that. Final Grounds! Okay. I like the look of this course. It seems to be a bit monochromatic in terms of the textures, again. But we'll see how it goes. Oh my gosh. 
What is that mini-map? Another two-lap course. We've been getting the Wii Bowser Castle music a lot. Oh, of course. You butt. Oh, man. Make up your mind if I'm in second or first. What the heck is going on here? Okay, so this course is like a maze where there's a bunch of different ways to take. Okay, I can, I can dig it. I can dig it. Just makes it a nightmare to keep track of. It's like Yoshi Valley. The only reason I turned is because I saw that the boost uh, pad was turned as well. I'm going to assume basically always lead towards the exit, but maybe that's not right. What? I do not like courses where it's like, oh, you, you better be in an inside drift bike. Wait, you're not in an inside drift bike? Why are you playing Mario Kart Wii? It's like you're building elitism into the course. And I want to point out the Sneakster does not have bad turning. It just doesn't have the best turning. Red Shell Cup, you're not very good. I have not been impressed with the courses thus far. Visually, they look pretty good. But actually racing on them, no. And if, if there are people in the comments who have like played CTGP before and are like, well, Artie, you gotta be in an inside drift. Nope. If you're saying the course is good if you're in an inside drift bike, I'm just not giving that a pass. If the course is bad if you're not in an inside drift bike, it's bad course. It's just how it is. If you don't balance the course so that it's suitable for all vehicles, that's not a good course. It's a not a good course to have publicly in the the uh, race pool. If you want it just for yourself or like to host tournaments there, under the assumption that every single person who plays is in an inside drift bike, then fine. Like right there, that turn, there's no way any vehicle can make that turn outside of like a, an inside drift bike. I again want to reiterate, Sneakster actually has pretty good turn. For a bike that doesn't have inside. Okay, well we won first. Once again, I'm going to give that course a good in theory, not in execution. Needs some work. I see what you were trying to do, but it's just not that fun to play on. Okay, Pipe Underworld. Okay, so graphics-wise, this looks like a very simple course, but it's just pitch black. <laughs> Is this going to be like a Piranha Plant slide? Looks like an interesting map. It's very dark. Now it's not very dark. This is finally a free lapper. Um. 
what? Okay, I don't like that. I, I can't see where I'm going. I almost fell off literally just because the map was designed for it. What the? Oh, this is terrible. This is terrible. How was this put in the map pool? Is there no screening process for courses before they go in the map pool? Wait. Oh, this is actual garbage. How dare you put the N64 Bowser Castle music here? How dare you taint that music with this trash? So I'm basically, what I'm getting from this is that the Red Shell Cup is just the no-no cup. You don't pick courses from the Red Shell Cup. Like right there, I was I was literally holding power slide and brake to go around that corner, and I barely made it. Glad I didn't pick a cart. I mean, this part of the level is kind of cool. Going through a cave. Okay, I like this part of the level. The beginning part. Oh no! Never mind. Never mind. You you ruined it immediately. Hey, you want to do like a. 280 degree turn immediately with no warning whatsoever. Well, you have to. Once again, good in theory, not in execution. Like, okay, this part is kind of creative where you have to go on the side. Like, I'll give you that. That's actually kind of cool. Oh my gosh, she went so high. This is a trap. This is a trap. I'm holding break. That part's good. This this is reminding me. This seems. This cup seems like the Kaizo cup. Just like how hard can we make the levels? And the audacity that they put them in the same game as like normal cups. For shame. For shame. Okay, we dipped. I had to break, and I still barely made it. Wait, what? This is really bad design. Now I'm super confused. I feel like I want to, like, put this in the map editor and just fix it. Oh, of course. Of course I got shrunk at the worst possible time. I can't tell if Bowser is, like, ridiculous. No, Bowser... How the heck did Bowser get that far in first? How the heck did Bowser... He's either ridiculously far in first or ridiculously far behind. And I'm pretty sure he's far in first. No, 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 no. Break, 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 break. On, I was going to take the shortcut. I was the worst part is I was so excited about this cup too. How? And why? Just worse timing for everything. Screw off, Toad. Okay, that... Was that worse than the Magma Course?
I'd say the this and the Magma Course are both two thumbs way, way down. Again, you got some good ideas, but you gotta follow for on execution, and you're not. So, bad course. Will not pick again. Canyon Run. Okay, Canyon Run, we are free for free for bad courses. Okay, this one looks nice. It's a beautiful autumn day. You got these nice courses. This one looks really good. This one looks like a professional course. And hopefully it's simple? Is this- this looks like- this looks like- <laughs> This looks like the part of the movie Cars where Lightning and Sally are going on the drive. And I- I'm honestly down for it. Cars gets a lot of hate. I- I think that Cars is better than a lot of people think. Is it Pixar's best franchise? Definitely not. But it's still a fun movie. And Cars 1 was definitely the best out of the trip game, so I, I can actually get down with this. Oh my gosh! Yes! Yes! Okay. This is the only good course in the Red Shell Cup. They put this at the end because they're like, okay, all of these courses suck. Let's shove them in one cup and make a really good course at the end. Oh, that's not the way you go. <laughs> okay, that was on me. I veered off the center path. That was on me. Okay, yeah, this course is really good. I really like this course. Like, this reminds me of an actual Mario Kart course. And that is a very high uh, form of praise I can give to a custom one. And it looks so good. Like, they really put a lot of time into making sure this course looks good. But also plays good. It's like the double- this- this is- in Stark- this is two thumbs way, way up. Wow, this is- this is so fun. This might be one of my favorite racing courses. <laughs> Maybe it's just because it's washing away the bad taste of the rest of the Red Shell Cup, but... Wow, yes, this is great. This is great. My only complaint is I don't really see any shortcuts. I guess that could be a shortcut. Who's going to there? But just because I don't see them doesn't mean they're not there, and it doesn't mean it still isn't a great course. See how I can do well in this vehicle when I, I'm on a course that's actually good? Wow, yes. This will forever be Radiator Springs to me. Come on. Tell me this doesn't remind you of cars where they're, right, where, where they're racing for the camera. Yeah. It totally does. What?! Apparently that wall is made out of rubber. You can tell they put a lot of effort, though, into making sure that this course was top-notch. Well, I don't think so. Okay, finally. We got one good course out of four. Still not a good track record, though. Doggone it, I didn't win first overall. I guess Bowser 100% cheated at the underground pipe course for being ridiculously far in first. I don't know how he got that big of a lead. Well, alright, there's our first second place trophy. Why does it look like it's made of platinum? Rank E, you're bad. No, I'm not bad. Those courses just were garbage. <laughs> and I am not changing my mind on this. Okay, I now see why a lot of the people who play CTGP don't go for the custom courses. Because they're hit or miss. Most of them are pretty fantastic. But you get some stinkers, and we got three big old rotten stinkers. Like, 20 day old garbage just rotting away <laughs> at, at the curb. Man, that was, that was not fun. Three of those courses were not fun at all.
Thank goodness we had... Thank goodness we ended with Canyon Run. Man, I'm gonna remember that course. That course is fantastic. Does not make up for the rest of the cup, though. Red Shell Cup... Is Remember, it's the Red Shell Cup. Red means stop, as in stop, don't pick any course in that. <laughs> You're gonna have a bad time. Hopefully the next two cups will be better. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.